Emma. Yes. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. I, I before when I arrived here, I asked you if we can do a little interview before and after, but then everything developed so smoothly from like. The scene just started, so we didn't have a chance to talk before the scene. I know that's okay. I mean, it kind of like went naturally, but yeah. And um, we we met today. Yes. <laughs> I heard of you because some people on Twitter were already suggesting that oh, you should work with this girl. She's yeah. yeah. And oh, you know, the thing is, I have no influence. You know, I I was lucky today that pet mine. Uh, Pat, what is this for today? It's a daddy thing. It's a daddy thing. And released by? Elegant Angel. Elegant Angel. Elegant Angel. So, <laughs> I'm, I, I, he shoots for various, uh, that. So it's a daddy thing for Elegant Angel. And then I was lucky enough that they put this together. I know. Actually, you know, what's funny is that we were supposed to work with each other. I think it was for New Sensations. Okay. Okay, yeah. But I had to cancel because I was sick or something. And I was like, no, because I really want to work with you. Because oh. I heard of you. And I was just like, but I'm going to be honest. Like I told you earlier, I was like super nervous because like you do have a really, can I say that? Yes, yes. You got, we, can, we, we can talk about everything. Okay, okay. We cannot show. You, we cannot show, but we'll talk. Yeah, yeah. But you are really big. And I was really, really, really nervous. And then you were just so like calming and like gentle that like the scene went really smooth. I'm happy to hear that I had a great time. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how, let, let me ask you a few uh, questions. So first of all, I'm going to show you Twitter. This is uh, on the button. This is Emma Hicks. <laughs> and um, uh, what else do you want to do? You have something you want to promote like Instagram or... Oh, um, my Twitter is this. Well, my Instagram is the same as my Twitter. So whatever you put, right? Okay, I'm going <laughs> to put the, the Twitter. And how long are you in the business? I have been in the industry for, I think, two years, a little over two years. Okay. Yeah, but I had like a little rough start. I didn't really know what I was doing when I first got in, so I was, I'm not, I wasn't the best performer. Yeah. You know, but I learned and I feel like I'm better now, but yeah, two years and a little bit. So how did you get into the business? Some, some, uh, a friend of mine always asks the question, did porn find you or did you find porn? I found porn, I think. I was going through a rough time. I was going through a breakup and I thought, mm -hmm. ooh, I want to make this guy mad by watch, like making him see me on the internet, you know? So I kind of just contacted a male performer that I was like, I watched a lot of his porn. So I was like, I'm just going to contact him on Instagram. And I did that. And then he helped me. He gave me a list of agencies. Mm -hmm. And then I called them and found the one that I was most comfortable with. And then mm -hmm. I came out at 18. I came all the way from Canada to here. Ah, you're from Canada. Yeah. I just put that here. So because. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I came all the way from Canada as 18 to L.A. To do porn so it was a huge change mm -hmm. yeah wow so you're 20 now yeah i do porn since 23 years wow <laughs> that's a long time yeah you still right. like it yeah. though oh I, come on it doesn't get old though it doesn't I get mean, like yeah how much better can life be than the uh, game. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know i just had sex with you oh. and you're, you're so sweet and beautiful and now I'm going to have a quick lunch and then I'm going to play golf. How much better can life be? Life is good, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> life is good. No, I agree. I love my, I love my job. I love this. Yeah. But at the beginning, you said it was rough. I mean, we, I want the people who watch this on YouTube, uh, I don't want a fake uh, story. They, I, I mentioned many times, porn is not for everybody. And even for, for the same per, uh, people, sometimes it's not so good, sometimes it's great. So um, what was rough at the beginning? Why why you say you... Because I thought that I was really good at sex in my personal life, you yeah. know, because I was kind of, I slept around in my personal life. And then um, I thought I was really good. And then as soon as I got in front of a camera, it was just like... Like, Freeze I up. didn't know what sex was. So I was really bad when I, the first couple of scenes, because I was just so nervous, and, you know, I learned, I guess, how mm. to, like, be comfortable in front of a camera and actually be myself, but yeah, when I first started, I was really shy. <laughs> because also, 
sex in front of the camera is not like regular sex because you have to fuck your partner but at the same time you have to fuck the camera yeah you have to be it's like a menasha troll with a with the camera you have to be aware of the light of the situation because it's it's show it's a uh, you can't just close up like in your yeah. personal life so yeah, yeah it's, that's what was really hard for me when i first started because mm. i didn't know how to open up i was just kind yeah. of like get on top of me and you know but yeah. i learned <laughs> yeah. i i started when i was uh, older but what helped me i think is when i was young a teenager and a young adult i did a little bit of uh competitive ballroom dancing yeah not i was not on a high level but it was like you know pretty good yeah yeah and when you do that it's the same thing you have to dance for the audience you have to be aware of of you know, yeah. it's not just when you dance just with your lover. It's, it's as much as you thing. want it to be. It's yeah, cool. <laughs> it's one thing. Or if if if, if you do a show, yeah. yeah, you have to keep the audience in mind, the lights in mind. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. But what made you? If you don't mind me asking, what made you get into it though? Like, what was your? You probably already said this on your thing. Uh, I always enjoyed watching porn. I was uh, watching porn since I was a uh, teenager. When I was young, there was no video. It was before video recorded, before DVD. There was Super 8 millimeter yeah. movies and there was magazines. That's all it was. And when I was, saw it the first time, I said, wow, that's so cool. I would like to do that. Yeah. But uh, of course, life always takes different roads. and I, 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 got out of school, got a good job, family, all that. and But it always stuck in my head that it would be nice to do porn. Well, at least you did it. No matter, yeah. like, you know, you might have did I don't know when you started exactly. Like, I, don't know I was 35 when I started. See, at least you did it. That's, yeah. that's young, too, actually. Yeah, so and you, I, I know. It's not young. And now I'm 57. I'm well, probably. you don't look a day <laughs> over 40. <laughs> yeah. I don't look a day over 40, uh, 56 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> No, you do look good though. But um, that's a that's an interesting story though because I've always wondered how guys. You know, I've I've heard all the girl stories, but I've never heard like the guys. I think stuff. guys have very very different stories. Like everybody has different stories. Uh, there's a a lot of guys in the business longer in the business. Uh, who are much younger than me because Mr. Pete, for instance, I'm sure you yeah, know yeah. him. Uh, he's long. Uh, no, he's probably as long in the business, but he's like 19 years younger than me. Yeah. Uh, then um, uh, Tony Rivas, I just shot for him yesterday. He's 10, 12 years younger than me, but he's longer in the business because he started when he was 18. Yeah, that's what yeah. I heard. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Everybody has a different story, a different... Uh... But if you, t- if you ask most girls, there's, just, there's this like almost like mine. I just want to piss off my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I've, I've heard that before, yeah, but there's different reasons. And also we have to say it's much easier for a girl to get into the business. Yeah, that's very true, actually. Guys, it's kind of like companies have their rotation, right? I don't really know how that works that much. The thing is, companies always complain that there is no new guys but at the same time nobody wants to try a new guy you never know if they're yeah because it's just imagine you come here you have a a set everything is going on you know it costs money and then the guy can't can't perform which has happened before it happens all the time but like I don't know, it's, yeah. And then, then there's this solid guys, like I mentioned, Tony Ribas, Alent, Mr. Pete, uh, John Strong, Manuel Ferrara. When you book them, you know it's solid. Mm-hmm. You, there's no... You know what you're going to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't take a chance. I, I, I have to pay the location, I have to pay the megabatis, I have to pay the, everybody. Yeah. And if I don't, if I cannot be 100% sure if the guy can perform, that's a big chance you take. And so that's why I say, okay, I, Manuel Ferrara is the most expensive guy in the business, but I don't take a chance. I know for sure, 100%, that I get a good scene. Yes, and that's like, I'm not saying that the guy does all the work in the scene, but it's kind of like the main part is to stay hard. and You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like, for a, it's easy for a girl because we just kind of show up. I mean, I try to do as much work as I can, but like, yeah. you know, when you're a new girl, you the kind thing of sit is, there. The thing is... Um, we sell in porn, we sell the scene with the, with the girl. That's what the people want to see. Yeah. But uh, I co- again, compare it with dancing. It's, it's the guys 
work to make the girl shine. Like in dancing, exactly. when you dance, you have to lead the girl, put her in the light, make her look good. Make her look good. That's, yeah. And if a guy does that well, it doesn't show. Yeah. Everybody looks just at the girl. Look, you know? Yeah. But his job is not unimportant exactly yeah. yeah so that's why you see find the same guys all the time because people can rely on them yeah uh, and everybody's complaining oh there's always the same guys but at the same time nobody wants to try new guys because the chances you never know yeah, yeah. Yeah. and girls everybody wants oh yeah i mean you're pretty even if you would be the worst performer in the world They would book you, at least at the beginning, for a few uh, scenes. Be like, okay, let's get her out of here. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you're so pretty, even if you suck, which you don't, you do great. Okay. But even then, they would give you at least a few scenes. That's true, yeah. yeah. It, it would only last so long, though, that's yeah. the thing. If you're a good yeah. performer, you last longer, but yeah, yeah that's true. Good, let me hear a bit uh, more about you. So you came from Canada here, and now you're an L.A. girl, I, uh, I think, yeah? Yeah. You live here? I li I've been here, I've lived here for two years now, and I miss Canada. Which part from Canada? BC, like Vancouver area. Yeah, okay. And I miss Canada, but every time I go back, I'm like, oh, I miss LA, you know, yeah. when you, you know, you miss home, but yeah, I'm going to go back eventually, I just don't know when. <laughs> I've only been to Montreal three times, and I really enjoyed it. It's beautiful. I've yeah. never been to Toronto, Vancouver, other places. You need to go. Yeah. It's so beautiful. I shot, I think, I shot one scene in Vancouver, the, my very first scene, yeah. and I've never seen it, and I never want to see it. Um, but it, shooting, okay, shooting porn in Canada is a lot different than here. Just based off that one scene, though. I mean, I, I, I shot... I went to shoot porn in, in Canada, but we went with an American production and we just booked local girls. In, in Montreal, there's a lot of strippers yeah. who, would, who do porn on the side if there is a job, because yeah. it's not an industry like here. Yeah. So uh, we had a good time, but what the difference was for us in uh, never shoot on a weekend, because the girls love to party and then they just <laughs> don't show up. They say yes, 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 and then, You know, they just it makes sense though. But. They, they're, not, they're, they're not so professional like here. It's a business. People show up on time. Do yeah. bum, 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 bum. It's it's not just a side thing. It's your yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, there it's a side thing. You yeah. know, it's like oh yeah, why not make some extra dollars and then they party and then so never shoot on the weekend. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But we had a good time. We, yeah, I, as I said, I've only been in Montreal. It was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been. I've only been to like BC. Okay. And what's it called? Alberta? Mm -hmm. I What only it? know it from the map, but I've never been. There. I'm really bad with geography. That's I, one of my weakest things in life. Is I geography. shot in 21 different countries. Uh, wow. In uh, most north was probably Canada and St. Petersburg in Russia, which is also very up north. Yeah. Uh, and then all the way down south, South America, Brazil, Chile. Um, That's crazy. Where I've uh, been to Japan, to Israel, Turkey, all wow. over Europe. Yeah. I want to travel like that. Yeah, that's a great way of traveling. Uh, porn and traveling goes together very well. I've just been here in Canada. I don't travel. At all. <laughs> But you can, you can, you know what? Yeah. Uh, if you, I give you my, my number and if you want to travel, I can yeah. hook you up. Uh, I mean, it's not like you won't make a lot of money, but it But it's pays, nice to it's, see it, the world, it, You see the world, it pays for your expenses and it's a great way to get, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, I would love that because, yeah, I need to get out more. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. since... Oh. Two years you're in the business, and that today was our first shoot together. I hope it's not the last. I really hope not. And yeah, I need, yeah. To, I need to work with you more. <laughs> <laughs> you're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, see you at my next YouTube clip. Maybe you want to send a kiss to them. All the perverts. All the perverts out there. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you. Cut. Cool.